I swear sometimes I feel like I'm doing brain surgery on a rocket scientist. Okay, welcome to the Phone Archive, a series in which I look at weird and obscure phones from around the globe that may entertain you or may bore you to death. Who knows? Well, today we're going to be tearing down a whole bunch of phones. We're going to be starting with this one, which I just reviewed and I still don't know the specs of. So, we're going to take it out of life support, switch it off, and tear this thing down. Alright, so I'm going to have to put all the screws up in here. So I don't lose them all. I'm pretty sure they're all going to be the same size, but hey, you never know. I don't know, guys. What are you thinking this is running? I'm thinking it's a dual core with probably 512 meg of RAM and 2 gig ROM, but hey, you never know. So let me go ahead and get all these screws out. Oh, now it becomes the fun part. Have I got all the screws out? I have. All right, how does this thing come apart? Pretty easy, I would assume. Yep. Oh. Got to be a little bit careful. Oh, something just came out of there. No, oh. well, I found the speaker. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So, I have a feeling I know why the speaker doesn't work. That's because it's kind of separated. And you can see that it's... Yeah, it's probably not going to work. And that's all soldered down as well. I can't solder. So, I think someone's already been in here before. Having a look around the phone, let's have a look at some of the components. So there must be some sort of a sensor in here somewhere that detects the S Pen, but I'm not too sure what, where, how, and when. So the camera at the back here has no optical image stabilization. It is stuck. Um, all right, so the buttons here can just lift out, presumably. All right, let's get all these little screws out so we can have a look at the main board properly. I like how the loudspeaker is just like on an angle, just like zoop. All right, let's take out all of these ribbons. We'll use this one instead just because it looks safer. It's not safer, but whatever. All right. That seems to be the motherboard taken out. So pretty much what we're left with is digitizer, LCD, the camera ribbon is all in one piece, the earpiece is part of the motherboard, and the SIM card slot is all part of that too, so there's not really much to look at, and all of that just joins into a separate connector. I kind of like, kind of like the real deal. Otherwise, the chips we have on board, let's have a look here and see what they are. We have a MediaTek ARM6582V. Just here we have a SanDisk chip. The SanDisk chip is an SD7DP24F-4G. So I'll have to look them up and see what comes up. There is also a MediaTek MT6323GA. And there's probably some more under here as well. Let's just... Let's just pull up this little bit just in case, because you just never know. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put that back there. Well, I think I know the CPU now. All right, well, I'm going to put this thing back together, and I'll start disassembling the other ones too. Okay, so I've just switched the phone back on, and it all seems to work as far as I can see. So I've done a little bit of research on the MediaTek chip in here, and it appears that it can take up to 2 gig of DDR2 memory. The problem is, I can't tell if it's 1 gig in here or 2 gig. I'm going to lean towards 1 gig, just because that seems more reasonable. So at this stage, it's a, it's a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz, a 720p display, and 
either one gig or two gig of RAM with four gig of storage. So it's not too bad of a phone. And as for the SIM card, well, this ribbon seems to be connected quite properly and I've tried a SIM card and it still doesn't want to connect. So I got no idea. But I'm going to say that I'm going to put this one back together and call this one a uh, I'm finished with it. All right, so I'm pretty sure that I'm done with this one. I think I know the rough specs of it. So I'll just put this over to the side now. Now this one here with the cracked LCD, you can see it's cracked all along there. It doesn't look like the LCD is cracked, but if I do this, absolutely nothing happens. So let's take this one apart. See what's inside of this one. There's no S Pen in here, so I don't really care. This time I might actually have the screws in a somewhat reasonable order. Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. Because this phone I don't care too much about. To be honest, when I first got this phone, it actually booted up and then it just froze. And then I've done a factory reset on it and it has never come back to life. So I took it apart. I don't know why I took it apart and then I cracked the LCD. So, good times. I'm just actually wondering if it's the same variation of the board that's in here, or if it's a completely different one. I have no idea. All I can tell you is that there's 50 billion screws holding this thing down, but... Alright, let's see. There we go. Pop. Oop. Oh, I lost a screw. I don't know where that went, but it doesn't matter. Okay. This board appears to be different. Does this one have any optical image stabilization? No, it doesn't. So this one is completely different to the other one that I just looked at. Um, considering that there is the front camera is a different flex ribbon and all that sort of stuff. This is completely different. But for the sake of curiosity and everything like that, I'm going to take this board out. Assuming as it doesn't work anyways. And we're going to see what specs are on this board. There's a little tiny front facing camera. It's adorable. Oh, look at this dodgy ass screw here. I was barely holding it on. Oh, I just... Oh, there it is. Just flinging out of there. Right, so this one has a Samsung KMN5X000ZM B209 chip with a MediaTek MT6582V chipset. I don't know what that might be actually. Yeah, this one's a very basic board. Very, very, very basic. All right, so I've taken apart that one. I've had a look inside of that. I think we'll have a look inside of this one just really quickly. because I'm gonna see if it's exactly the same board or not. Let's have a look. I have a feeling that they're exactly the same, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and take these screws out then. Well, I've lost that one. It's funny to know that I've already lost a screw within five seconds of trying to do this. Alright, so half these screws don't even come out of this, so... If I go to crack this out, it's probably gonna just crack into a thousand pieces. Okay, so you remember in the first video when I was talking about this phone, I said the USB port was loose? There it is. <laughs> it's literally just hanging there. It's just chilling out. Um, this board is exactly the same as the board in there. And this LCD works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the components of this one and swap with this one here. Because look, the dodgy screws there. The flex ribbon's the same. Every, everything's the same. So, stuff it. I'm, I'm gonna do it just for experimental purposes. And also, I can replace the, um, the bottom connector here with the one on this motherboard with this one here so I can actually make a somewhat working phone well anyways uh, let me give this a go I should spare you the pain of watching this so I'll do a jump cut and you'll see in a second okay the results I swapped the motherboards and stuff out of these ones that one being the cracked screen one 
And this one being the really crappy first one. And no, this motherboard is unfortunately just completely dead. That sucks. But I did manage to pinch the charger port and put it into this one so I can now charge this one and use it. Well, use it in a very loose manner because I'm probably going to just chuck these back in the drawer and never touch them again. So otherwise, I don't really know what to do now. Um, I've looked at all three of them and, well... <laughs> This one, we know it's crap. This one would just, well, yeah. Specifications are a little bit hard to pinpoint on that one, but look, it's okay, but it doesn't read SIM cards or do anything. And this one with a cracked LCD is just worthless. But I enjoyed having a look at them because it gave me something to do, gave me something to disassemble, pull apart, have a look at and all that sort of fun stuff. But now I have to edit all these videos and upload them to YouTube. That's fun. Thank you very much for watching this uh, three-part series of these Note 3 clones, and uh, might do some Apple stuff next, because they've released their brand new, well, announced or whatever, the XP and XD and XF and the Max and the Plus and, the, and the all those ones. Yeah, see? I'm knowledgeable. Uh, so that, that means we should do iPhone stuff next. But anyways, we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.